What's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 3 Raising Caden Theory video, okay? I want to talk about Howard vs. Rock, the deadly war that is coming. We want to find out who has the advantages, okay? We want to find out who will win. This war will be about who gets to have control over Canaan and who has influence in Canaan's life? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit the like button. This video is going to be a real doozy, all right? Let's get to it. Rock and Howard go to war over control of Canaan. They both know each other's deepest secrets and won't be safe until the other person is gone for good okay the war is inevitable and it technically already started because if they're not working together then they have no need for each other because of what they both represent and if they have no need for each other then they are enemies by default because of their circumstances now if we go all the way back to the end of episode four, we know what Howard did. Howard pulled the stunt. He said, basically, I don't like the way you're raising our son. I don't like the fact that you're congratulating me for saving our son again out of some shenanigans, right? That you got him into. Not to mention you're the same woman who tried to have him kill me before he realized who I was to him. So you know what? I'm not taking your calls anymore. Deal with yourself, right? Howard wants to be a good cop and a good father to Kanan. Howard is sick of Rock and the way she's raising Kanan. Once he finds out Rock put that gun in Kanan's bag, he will want Kanan to cut off both Rock and Famous because he never trusted Famous either. Also, right... We all know that it's very possible that, you know, Kanan could directly confront Famous about it. And Famous will tell Kanan that Rock did it instead of how we're ending up finding through finding out through ballistics. But I think the way of Howard finding the ballistics on the gun after asking Kanan and believing Kanan and then running the test, I think that would be good. We could still have the confrontation between Kanan and Famous, but I think... The first way I said, right, would be better, right? Be looking out for the fight between Famous and Kanan to happen around that time. Now, Rock would rather burn this whole shit down than sit and watch Kanan hate her and love Howard. She won't want to expose her relationship with Howard. But she will have to find a way to catch him alone or get him caught up with the feds. This will not be easy because from the jump, Howard will be in a winning position. And to them, the winner of this war gets to have Kanan. Howard is a dirty cop, so he already has an advantage in many ways we already know a cop would have. Now, Howard can't expose his connection to Rock either, but he is still a cop and can do any number of things, including finding a way to connect her to Crown's death and pushing the feds in her direction while taking them in a different direction away from both him and Kanan, if he can help that, right? Information is the biggest thing they need on each other. A lot of this war will be covert and discreet and a lot of other people who these people know will get manipulated in the mix, okay? The other question is, no, the question is, who do you, the viewer and listener think, will run, I mean, will win this war? The other question is, how do you think Kanan will feel about it, okay? I think Rock will ultimately get the upper hand, but she will have to do it with the possibility of being completely alone. 
And what do I mean by completely alone? She will be completely alone if one, it comes out that she told on Marvin. This information could be found out by some kind of dirty cop that they'll introduce, or it could be found by Howard. That's the quickest way if it happened, right? Number two, Lulu is already done with Rock and he's done with the game, right? So he's definitely out. He's definitely out unless he's forced to protect someone in his family, right? Number three, Kanan's definitely gonna hate Rock by this point, okay? A lot more secrets are gonna come out. At some point, we will get to see that scene where Rock has to look Kanan in his face and tell him everything, including the fact that she was an informant, right? Including the fact of who Dev Khan really is, right? Right? Four, Jukebox just might go to military school. It's very possible that we see Jukebox after her music career fails. That she says, I just can't be in the hood. I'm tired of Queens. And she goes to military school for two years. Maybe we'll get a time skip. Maybe season four will come and we'll go back and forth between Queens and seeing Jukebox deal with whatever she's dealing with in military school. But it's very likely that Raquel will not have many people around her. Okay. Now, as far as Kanan picking a side, right? Whose side he will choose? Kanan isn't going to pick a side. But at the same time, if he had to save Rock's life from Howard, he probably would kill Howard over her, even if he doesn't realize it. I think that when it comes down to it, Rock is still his mom, okay? For all the bad that she's done, you know, she also wiped his behind when he was a baby and fed him and, and, you know, I guess did the best that she could based with the resources that she was dealt with, I guess. But here's a theory on the deadly war between Howard and Rock. This is definitely coming. You can count this theory as already happened because technically it already started. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.